Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. This is a quick beginner's tip of how to create flowing fillets, not just in FreeCAD, but any CAD package to make transitioning through sharp corners much more easier to maintain and much more aesthetically pleasing. Our goal is to see something like this when we're filleting an object. So we get nice transitions across in the easiest way possible. I'm going to show you a tip that I got taught when I very first started off in CAD. If you like what you see and you want to donate to the channel, then you can do so via Ko-Fi or Coffee at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G zero or via PayPal at paypal.com forward slash PayPal me forward slash Darren B. E. Stone. I also run a Patreon where you can get early access and additional content. And that's at patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Links can be found in the channel header, on the about page, or in the descriptions of these videos. So for this demonstration, I'm using FreeCAD and I'm going to be using the part design. I'm going to create a new document and come over to the part design workbench. Within here, I'm going to create a body and create a sketch. I'm going to place it along the XY plane and hit OK. I'm going to create a shape I'm going to create a shape that has sharp edges and some tangency in there to demonstrate how you would create flowing fillets through that object. So for that, I'm going to use the polyline, this one here. And I'm going to create a random shape. I'm not going to worry about too much about constraints. I'll create something like that. And what we'll do is hit escape and escape again. And I'll create some tangency going across here with an end point and rim point arc. Selecting this point and this point and creating a curvature in there. Right click to get the mouse back or hit escape on the keyboard. I'm going to select this line and this arc, make the tangent, okay that, and the same with this arc and this line, making the tangent, and okay. Now if we close this and select the sketch and use the pad we get this pad in here and i'm going to set this to 15 millimeters and okay that now i'm going to create a pocket within this face here so we're going to hollow this out i could use a thickness the thickness tool part design apply dress up feature and thickness that will hollow this out but also I could use a subshape binder. So select that face, come up to part design, create a subshape binder. That's bound that face. So if we look in the model, we hit the binder there and come down to the data tab. If we look down, we you've got this offset. So I can select the offset and set this to say minus five millimeters to get myself a five millimeter border around here. The advantage of this over a thickness is that I can use the binder and create a pocket in here and pocket this to a depth that I want rather than the consistent depth of a thickness and hit OK. So we've pocketed that in there and now I'm going to add some fillets. Now look at the tangency of the internal lines and arcs in here. So we've got a tangent arc with this line. So if I fillet that arc only and hit the fillet tool, the fillet will travel around the arc and anything tangent to that arc. So you can see that there, but it doesn't take along this line here. Now this is where when we're starting out with CAD as a beginner, some beginners have a tendency to come in, hit select and start adding the fillets as we go. So I've selected the face there. Let's click that and select this line here. So I zoom in, select that line. I'm not holding down control. I'm just adding them as we go. And if you have troubles like this, this is down to something called the pick radius. And that can be set in the preferences. So I've added those there. If I hit OK, what happens? Look at the fillet. It's still a sharp point, this fillet. So the way to get around that is instead of adding them all at once, let's just delete that fillet, is to look at the tangency 
within the shape itself and create tangency across that. So you can do that either by coming into the original sketch and creating a fillet in here using the fillet tool, or we can actually apply the fillets in groups. So what I'm looking for is the sharp angles and I use the vertical line here and apply the fillet. And what we do is then change this to whichever tangency we want. So if I want this more of a curve, I can do so by just altering that fillet and we'll look along and we'll find the other one. So I'm gonna go for this one here. So come over, hit select and select this line here. And also I'm gonna use this line. So these are all the points, that vertical line, vertical edge that are quite sharp. And we don't have to add these because we've got nice tangency against those. So we're looking to create a nice flow. If I hit okay, you can see our flow now is much more cleaner, more flowing going around the object. And we've got control over that fillet as well, just by double clicking, coming in and increasing the fillet if we wanted to. So now when we add the fillet, let's add the fillet to here, just need to add it to one edge, add the fillet, we get a nice tangent flow going all the way around that edge on the bottom there. And it's much easier because now we can use the select and do the top edge as well and hit OK. And we get that nice tangent flow all the way along. And also we can go back to the original fillet and change the radius. Let's up this to eight and hit enter. And it makes it much easier to work with and we get a much cleaner result with our modeling. The same applies on the outside. So we've got this sharp angle here. If I try to add the fillet on the outside, you can see that the fillet goes all the way around, but we get this weird, but we get this curve here that if we hit OK and apply another fillet, Look what we've got. We've got the sharpness here and a curve on the outside, which is not what we want. Let's cancel that and delete this fillet here. Delete that. Just by coming in and selecting the edges, which are non-tangent, like so, applying the fillet, makes a more flowing shape going all the way around. Hit OK. Now when we apply the fillet to one of these edges, second time, that fillet travels all the way around and look at the difference. We've got a much cleaner transition between one edge to the other. So I hope that's helped for managing fillets to produce a much cleaner transition from one fillet to another. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again in a new video. If you like what you see and you want to donate to the channel, then you can do so via Ko-Fi or Coffee at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G zero, or via PayPal at paypal.com forward slash PayPal me forward slash Darren B. E. Stone. I also run a Patreon where you can get early access and additional content. And that's at patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Links can be found in the channel header on the about page or in the descriptions of these videos. I thank everybody that's donated so far. It really helps to keep the lights on so I can produce more content and also expand the channel. Thank you for liking, commenting and subscribing to these videos. And I hope to see you again in the next one.